We're also talking about a blast from the past, bottled milk. And while memories of the milkman may have long faded away, at one local dairy, the tradition is still going strong almost 100 years later. Here's our own man, Mike Randall, with the story. In the good old days, there were plenty of them. Small local dairies that bottled their own milk in real glass bottles. It's more labor intensive because we are bringing bottles back, washing them. Nowadays, there's only one, at least here in western New York, and that's Hoover's Dairy in Sanborn. There you go. Thank you. Have a good day. The family-run business has been at this for a long time. A very long time. We started in 1920. Rob Hoover, a fourth generation member of this operation, says when it comes to milk, bottles are better. I think it tastes a lot better, uh, better for the environment, keeps it colder and uh, fresher. Customers say Hoover's strawberry and chocolate milk are pretty awesome too. But that's only half the story. Not only do they still bottle milk in real bottles, they also deliver. <laughs> Do not adjust your set. That really is a milk truck trekking through the snowy streets of Niagara County. All the way down to New Thane, Wilson, uh, Pendleton, Wheatfield. 18-year-old Robbie Hoover, Rob's son, is a fifth-generation milkman. His lucky customers can have all kinds of goodies delivered. Cottage cheese, butter, eggs, uh, Apple juice, cranberry juice, orange juice, uh, lemonade. His day starts as early as 4.30. AM. The alarm clock goes off and it's sort of, yeah. uh, here we go again. Still, the teenagers happy to be carrying on the family trade. Basically carrying on the tradition and sort of makes your day talking to some of the customers. Hoover's Dairy, a local favorite and a family tradition. No wonder they'll soon celebrate their 100th anniversary. It's a pretty neat thing that and the family members have continued with it. It sure is. Now Buffalo, I'm Mike Rand.